again and welcome to this episode of Celebrity Cleaning Confessions, the show where I get celebrities to dish on all things clean and frankly anything else that's going on with them. Today I am so excited, so excited to be joined by an iconic Canadian. He is not only a chef, he is an author, he is a dad, he's got TV shows going on, and he is also the official food ambassador for Prince Edward Island. I've got with me Chef Michael Smith. Hey, Welcome. hi Melissa, good to be here. Thank you for being here and chatting with me today. The other things are pretty self-explanatory, but I am really curious. What does the official food ambassador for Prince Edward Island do? What do I do? Gosh, what don't I do? <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I get to eat every chowder on the island. Oh, that's amazing. I get to slurp every oyster. I get to go on every lobster boat. And really what it is, is, is a recognition of something that I already do. I'm, I, I think like so many people in Canada, I'm proud of where I come from. Yeah. And Prince Edward Island made me who I am as a man, as a, as a dad, as a neighbor, as a father, as a chef. So really, I'm just proud to tell the world about our products and all the hardworking people that, that make them as good as they are. And they made me food ambassador. That sounds so fun. It is a lot say. of fun. That I'm very proud great. of it. I'm proud of our island. I'm proud that Prince Edward Island is the kind of place where we know people that produce food. We don't know of them, we know them. We look them in the eye. They're our friends, our neighbors, and, and it's, it's deeply personal. You know, they're not just oysters, they're Johnny and Leo's oysters. That's and, and right. It really does change your perspective. You have that farm to table mentality. Absolutely. Going on. We've had it going on since long before the world heard about farm to table and local and all of that. It's just the way we are. Now, you went from being busy, busy, busy chef to dad and work at home and set your own schedule. So what's that transition been like for you? It's been it's been good, it's been challenging, it's been rewarding, and it's really informed who I am as a cook. And I guess what I mean by that is that I spent many, many years as one of Canada's top chefs. I mean, I took the Inn of Bay Fortune on Prince Edward Island, the top 10 in the country. We had people chartering planes in Toronto to fly down and have food with us. That's incredible. So you would figure or think that a guy like me, I thought I had it all figured out. And then my son was born. Yeah. He's 13 now, by the way. And wow. it all sort of came crashing down. And I had to wake up and realize very quickly, I don't know a damn thing about food. You know, I know how to charge a whole bunch of money for a little bit of really nice ingredients, yeah. but I don't know about food. And I certainly don't understand nutrition and wellness and health and all those things, but I figured it out really quickly and it really woke me up and it has informed me very much on my life's mission, which is, which is helping Canadian families get in touch with their own food lifestyle. That's a great mission to live by. And as a dad, you probably have had to clean up a mess or two in oh, your yeah. life. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So what's it like? You have three kids? <laughs> Chaz, I'm sorry that I'm gonna say this. <laughs> you know, I run the food in my house, okay? Yeah. Doesn't that sound like a chef? It I, does, but, but, a little bit. Know, every family has a division of labor, and in my family, I take on the food, and that frees Chaz up to do other things. So that means I know how to shop, I know how to fill the car up, fill the cart up, get it home, put it on the shelf, I know how to cook, I know how to clean, I take the garbage down to the curb on Friday mornings. I really do it. I really do. And it, it really informs me. It, it helps me understand what it's like being a true family cook and what the challenges are and helping myself put myself in the shoes of my audience, truly. And, and that's a lot of the reason I'm sitting here with you because I do the dishes. Yeah. And like every guy out there, I'm convinced that I know how to load the dishwasher better than anybody We've else. We've heard this one before. Okay? I'm the guy. <laughs> Nobody can load my dishwasher like I can. I can cram years of pots and pans and dishes into that dishwasher if I have to. Okay, and on that note, you must have, aside from dishwasher mastery, you must have some really good cleaning tips for the kitchen that you've developed over the years as super dad and super chef. Sure. What well, are they? And one of them is, is quite simply Cascade Platinum. I mean, I, I gotta say, I love that I don't have to pre-rinse a damn thing. I just throw it in the dishwasher. And, I agree. You know, when I'm done, it's all sparkling and beautiful and delicious and I'm ready to move on. I think the other big tip for me is, is it's it's simple, clean as you go. You know, and, and there's, there's lots of sort of little sub tips to that, you know, things like um, know that you're about to create a mess. So you're, you're cooking a recipe, it's probably out of one of my books, I'm sure. And, Obviously. You know, and you're getting ready to put it all together. Well, yeah. understand that during that process, you're gonna make a mess. So be ready for the mess. 
you know, have little containers, whatever they need to be, whether they're, you know, square or round or plastic or glass, whatever you got, just have something ready to peel the carrots into or to scrape the onions Like a garbage into. bowl. Exactly. Yeah, so you're not a garbage running bowl. Running off to the, wherever you keep the garbage, you know, so you're, you're keeping it contained and you're, you're keeping it gracious and you're moving on. I love That's that. a way to start. Um, beyond that, um, I, I like to, I like to get everything into the dishwasher as fast as I can. Yes. So, um, you know, if I'm working with my pots and pans, I'm, I'm fanatic about taking care of my pots and pans. Like I would they, assume a chef yeah, is. It's a chef thing. You know, they yeah. got to be shiny and delicious yeah, of course. and beautiful. And, you know, and I, so I clean as I go with that stuff. Um, I contain my mess. Yeah. So, I mean, sometimes you can't stay ahead of it. Sometimes you can't clean as you go. You know, so I'll, I'll contain it. I've got an area in my kitchen where all the dirty stuff goes. And if it's a plate or a, a glass or a bowl or whatever it is, I just toss it into the dishwasher. So Get you it always out of start sight. with an empty dishwasher before you yeah. start cooking? Yeah, before I start yeah. dinner. Yes, before I start dinner. That's sort of the, where the cycle, the 24-hour cycle works in our house. Um, before dinner, the dishwasher is emptied. Maybe it was done a little few hours earlier or whatever. But when I start dinner, everything starts over again. Clean slate, empty dishwasher, here we go. This is really good to know. I feel like I am so much more knowledgeable now as a novice chef. So that's very helpful. Yeah, and my challenge to all the guys out there is like, oh, we can do this too. It's okay. It's, you know, it's, it's manly, whatever. I'm cooking for my kids. I like it. And I'm I cleaning like my it. kitchen too. And man, let me tell you, I'm getting brownie points. Yeah. Brownie points, <laughs> Brownie this is a good points, tip, baby. thank you. <laughs> I don't like sleeping on the couch. <laughs> so aside from cooking in Prince Edward Island and all the things that you get up to, what are some other passions that you have that we might not know about? You know, my, my life's passion is, is sailing. I'm, I've been surfing and, and windsurfing my whole life. Wow. In the last uh, five, six years, I've taken up kite sailing. Um, I was I was an awesome windsurfer, but when kite sailing landed, I forget it. I, so now I'm kind of a novice kite sailor. <laughs> like I got to work my way back up the ranks. But it looks like a very intense oh, sport. Oh, I live for it. I wow. live for it to get out on the water, out on the waves, the wind, the sun, PEI. And what are some of uh, your projects? What are some things that you have on the go right now that you can share with us? Well, I guess the big one for us right now, other than running a really busy food media production company, yeah, and, other than you know, that, keeping our social media presence alive and, and filming yeah. videos all over the world and being a dad and raising three kids, two dogs, two cats, beautiful <laughs> wife, other than all that, a cookbook every year, getting oh, ready God. for this year's cookbook. We're already testing next year's cookbook. Other than all that, in my spare time. In your spare time, after I, windsurfing and kite surfing. Yeah. And <laughs> after the kids go to bed. My wife and I just bought my alma mater, the Inn Bay Fortune on Prince Edward Island, where I started cooking all those years ago. And wow. it's all come full, full circle. circle. And now we own it and we're going to take it right back to the top. Oh, what a nice story. That's so heartwarming. I love hearing that, like when someone just brings it all back and Sure. Yeah, Follow just, your passion. That's what yeah. life is all about. Absolutely. That's really awesome. Sometimes though, you got to clean up after that passion. You always have to clean up. Yes. That's really the deal here, guys. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to ask you a few quick rapid fire questions sure. before we end things off. They're just little cleaning pieces of information that the audience probably wants to know about sure. you. Okay, so the first one is, what is your favorite cleaning task? Um, I actually like doing the dishes. Dish guy. I do. I like doing the dishes. I like the immediate gratification of it. I start with a pile, I finish, it's clean, it's empty, move on, project done. Nice. Now let's flip it around. What's your least favorite cleaning task? Um, cleaning any pot that I burnt. Oh. I have trained my cooks for a thousand years. If you've ever worked for me, you know that as a cook, as a professional cook, if you burn it, you gotta clean it. It doesn't get handed off to the dishwasher. So when I burn it, you know, I gotta suck it up. I don't like it, but I do it. It's a humbling experience. It is. And it doesn't happen that often, just to be clear, but it does happen now. Okay, well, thanks for being so honest. Now, when you live with other people, you got kids, you got a wife, and pets. What is your cleaning pet peeve about other people? What do they not clean up that you would just wish that they cleaned up? You know, my, my family, everybody's pretty good at picking up after themselves. Um, I, you know what I think it is? I'm very OCD in the kitchen. I, I, I really have a place for everything and I need everything in its place and I can't start cooking until everything's clean, neat and tidy and it just, it bugs me when things haven't been put back exactly. That's for the wooden spoons, that's for all the other wooden tools, that's for the, the tongs. That, you know, what's the spoon doing in there? Spoken like, like a true chef. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what I expected you to say. Sure. And finally, <laughs> when you make your bed, You've got the fitted sheet, which goes around the mattress, and we all know what that does. Then you've got that flat sheet. 
Now, I've found about half the people in the world like it untucked so they can roll around unencumbered, and the other half like it tucked in so they can kind of slip into bed and feel all nice and secure. What kind of guy are you? So you remember that whole bit about division of labor? Yeah. I have no idea what it takes to make the bed. <laughs> I don't know. I don't do that part. Okay, <laughs> I just I got slip you. right in. You know, well, there you go. Uh, and, and look at me. Hey, come on. Yeah, you're a big guy. I'm six feet seven inches tall. So big guy. I got to have my feet hanging off the end of the bed. So, I, I, so untucked maybe I'm an probably untucked, makes sense. Untucked, for sure. Untucked. I've had so much fun getting to know you today. This has been so informative. Thank you. And your recipes are great. I've been on your website and used them several times. And if the Clean My Space community wants to know where they can find your recipes, where can they go? I would go first to uh, foodnetwork.ca slash cascade. Okay. That's where our video is living at the moment. We've got nice. this awesome video with all kinds of great dinner party tips, Good. sparkling dinner party. Go there first. Love that. And you can also just Google me. Okay. Go to my website. Google Chef Michael Smith kitesurfing.com. <laughs> and if they want to show you any pictures of dinner parties that they're having or ask you any questions about dinner parties, is there a hashtag? They yeah, can reach hashtag at? sparkling clean. Nice. Do it okay, up. great. Well, thanks so much for watching today, and thank you, Michael Smith, for being with us. Thank you, Melissa.